Hello and welcome to episode 15 of Sixfold Foundry. Uh, tonight I'll be painting a Sorcerer of Chaos. I intend to get through the entire model tonight if I can. I did say I would do a longer episode tonight, so that's the plan. I'll probably go ahead and do all the base coating for him, which is going to consist of the metal work and the detail. Uh, not so much of the details, but I'm going to get like the bone color down for the skulls, and then Hello, and welcome to once I get done base coating the guy, I'm going to go boundary. ahead and wash the whole uh, model black. I'll be painting a uh, it's just how I do my marines, and I'm going to come back in. I'm going to do I'm a higher pink, a full grim paint. Again. Dry brush. I did say I would do a lot um, of episode tonight, so that's the plan. I'll probably... And then after that, I'm going to go in and base the coating for him, which is going to consist so, of the metal So, I'm going to actually start this detail. one uh, by so doing a... Like, uh, doing the metals, because the they're skull, honestly going to be like the undercoat for this, well, because if you look, you've got a lot of metal parts that are under the armor parts. So I'm actually going to be doing the pink of the armor after I do the metals. And I'm also going to be doing... Oh, I'm just checking her over. Well, it's not a girl. Dry brush. Um, I did say I would him um, over. Tonight, so that's the plan. I'll probably. And then after that, I'm I think it's about it. Uh, there are a couple of gold spots. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna actually only get those black one, uh, by so doing a. Is the audio messed up? Uh, is there other uh, issues? They're honestly gonna be like the then, undercoat for this well, because if you look, you've got a lot of. I'm gonna keep going until I get told that um. So I'm actually gonna be doing the pink and armor after I do the metal. And I'm also gonna be doing. I'm just checking her over. Well, it's not a girl. Um, I'll go check the settings and make sure that's all good. And then after that, I think it's um, uh, I don't know why there's a double audio. It must be both cameras are on. I'll go check that real quick. By doing a is the audio messed up? Is there other issues? They're honestly going to be like the undercoat for this because if you look, you've got a lot of. I'm going to keep going until I get told that um. So I'm actually going to be doing the pink and That's not good. That should fix up the double audio. I'm really sorry about that. Thank you all for bearing with that. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, that should be fixed. If it's not fixed, just yell at me and let me know, but it should be fixed. But anyway, like I was saying, I'm going to do black for the areas. I intend to do gold first, like his chest and stuff. The reasoning is I tend to do a black under my gold metallics. Uh, there's actually a non-metallic method that Rockstar has been talking to me about that I intend to start testing out but not yet, and then on top of that, I actually, I'm not going to be able to do a Friday episode this week, I'm kind of backed up with school, and I really need to get some work done, so unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do an episode Friday, however, I should be just er, able to do a, er, another episode a week from now, and if we're lucky, I actually had someone, uh, and he can speak up and say if he wants to, I just don't want to speak for him, uh, so I'm, I'm getting a phone call, wow. Hold on. Oh my god, it's just been a busy day. I'm sorry I keep having to get up. Anyway, I'm done. I'm staying right here painting for the rest of the night. I'm going to start mixing paints now. But I'm going to start with the metal, like I said. But anyway, what I was saying was next Monday, um, I'll actually be able to probably start making the model version of myself. So next Monday might not actually be a painting stream. It may be a modeling stream, and I hope everyone's excited for that, because I really am, because I'm going to make the demon who I have in my thumbnail, who you've all seen me post all over the place if you know me or follow me or anything. I'm going to be making the model version of her. I finally have the bits, because someone donated the Lady of Arcana to me. Not only did they do that, but they were able to get Creature Caster to send me the Vulture Wings as well. Uh, the Vulture Demon Wings. And let me tell you, the Vulture de Demon Wings, when I saw them in person, they're freaking gorgeous. Holy crap, they are so pretty. And they're so big. and fl uh, It's going to be amazing. They're, the, they're literally just the wings I wanted. Like, I don't know. I'll keep talking about it as I start pulling stuff out. But, like, when I first started, the idea of making that model 
what I wanted to do, I'm looking for my, um, god, I can't remember the name of it, rune thing, uh, lead belcher, that's the one, I'm looking for the bolt gun metal equivalent, when I started, this was bolt gun metal before GW, or the last line of GW paints, that what they, or that's what they called it, I'm gonna have to go grab water in a little bit, by the way, too, sorry about that, especially with me talking, but, No, I don't know what it's been today. It's just been busy, 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 and I had to deal with the most ridiculous thing at billing. I don't know what it is about money, but, like, I'm dealing with all these institutions, and, like, no one understands how to handle my, your money, and they, like, talk to you like you're the one who has a problem, like you're the one who's crazy, and then you actually go in there, and you're like, actually, you're wrong, and they finally admit it, and they're like, oh, we're sorry, and I'm like, yeah, thanks for talking to me like I was an idiot for, like, 20 minutes before you figured out you were wrong and figured out what I was talking about. Because, like, it's twice now that I've had these people overbilling me and being like, oh, I don't know why you're complaining at us. It's like, um, why do you think I'm, sp <sighs> maybe it's them just trying to con me, I don't know, but it's like, I don't know, today I was at the university, so it couldn't have been that, because these people are just students they hired, so it's like, I don't understand. I just, I think I have to just stop buying stuff in general from anyone. Subscription services, they just, I don't know. You know what, I need to water this down a little bit. But anyway, so I'll be doing that demon on Monday. <clears throat> I'll start doing that. And it should be interesting because that'll be modeling instead of just painting. I'm like, I don't know, I've barely gotten to be on my feet today. Or not be on my feet, not be on my feet today, it's been crazy. I need to water this down more. I wanted to start this stream earlier wanted to start it earlier by about two hours, but I was just stuck up with stuff. Like, I guess the official way you're supposed to do bolt guns is supposed to be black over this main carapace area. I don't really do that. I've always just done metal bolt guns. I'm going to start, when I do the blood angels, I'm actually going to do it the proper way. Because, like, I just want that army to be painted properly. According to the codex or whatever, or the fluff. And just have them perfect. I want it to be so perfect that, like, I get to walk up to other Blood Angels players and criticize them for not having the right company and squad markings. My Chaos Army, I don't have to worry about that because they're Chaos. If they were organized, that would defeat the point of being chaotic. Hence, they are Chaos. It makes it a little easier because I'm thinking about how, like, when I do the Blood Angels, if I give them squad markings and stuff, I'm actually probably going to want to stick them together based on squad. Like, each guy's going to have a designated squad. Whereas, like, I feel like most players would just be like, here are my Marines with bolt guns. I'll get together eight of them along with a heavy weapon Marine and a sergeant, and I've got a tactical. Or I'll take six of them, plus, or five of them, plus four sergeants, or plus four sergeants. Yeah, four sergeants in a squad. No, uh, plus four heavy weapons and a sergeant. Then I have a devastator unit. Or, like, etc., etc. You can kit them out differently for different squads. I feel most people do that for Chaos Space Marines, too. Like, your Havoc squads and your, um, 
standard Chaos Space Marine squads are, the only difference between them is the weapon loadout and the slot they occupy on the Force Organization chart. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to get water, like, soon. I'm going to get the sword done. I'm doing a metal sword, too. Uh, I'm probably going to do power weapons for the Blood Angels as well as being actually blue. But I always default to silver swords when it comes to space marines and humans because swords are tend to be made of metal. Hey, Stratus, it's nice to see you. The beginning had goofs, of course. But here I am now, painting a sorcerer. I'm starting with the metal because when it comes to the soft armor, that actually is the lowest layer. And then I do silver swords, especially for chaos. But I'm also talking about how for my Blood Angel army, I think I'm going to do actual, like, blue power swords. I might even do some lightning effects because I, I knew a guy who used to paint Night Lords. And he would do freehand lightning effects all over them. And it was pretty sweet. And I would just use that same technique. It seems to be the key that to most of this stuff, honestly, like, is to highlight up to white. That seems to just be a trick that brings out a new effect when you highlight up to white. Okay. I'm going to go grab some water. After I water this metal down. Actually, I'm going to finish the sword because I can finish the sword. I've got a little left on the rim here. Let's get that. Also get the handle. Oh, got a little metal in the armor there, but that's okay. That's why I'm painting it this way. So I'm doing the soft armor before I do the hard armor. I said I was going to go get more water, but I guess I just don't care and want to dehydrate. Okay, I'm gonna go get water. One moment. Oh my gosh, that water is so nice. And um, I'm going to use it as just probably a sorcerer, yeah. I'm not going to have it as an aspiring sorcerer. I don't take Zinchi units. So it's just going to be a standard sorcerer. I really want to get a Terminator sorcerer. Because you can warp time them. Or, well, you can bring them in with a pair of, or with some Terminators, a squad of 10 Terminators, because why wouldn't you do this with a max squad of Terminators? And then you warp time them to automatically get the, um,
the uh Sorry, I just got the news that someone close to me is pregnant. I'm a little, that's, that just took me by shock just now. I guess that's what I was getting called about, but I, or, but I closed the phone. Anyways, getting back to what's important. Um, I, I, I like water, I guess. That water was nice. And here I am just... Getting in the middle here. Especially along there. And then I'll come along here. Hmm. And I'm gonna get the power cables here where they or where they shine through because these cables look like they have holes in them. I'll get the metal over that, the gold. And there's the metal work on that. I'm going to get his grill on his helmet. There's that. I got that a little over, but again, that's okay, because I'm going to go over all this with the uh, pink. Because he's going to be very bright pink. I paint my marines very, very pink. If you hadn't seen in the pictures already. Now I'm just getting the chains on the back of his cloak. I need to add some more water. continuing with the silver uh, with his chains on his belt and it looks like I have him on that side pretty good That seems pretty good on those for me. I'm going to go ahead and get the back exhausts here on the backpack. Any tip for warp flow for a Psyker? Um, there are glowing effects you can do. Otherwise, honestly, like... The other thing you can always do, which seems to be the new trick, is highlight up to white. Because, like, when I'm trying to do plasma, I'll highlight up to a white or a green that's nearly white. And that's how I get the glow on that. 
I do my plasma green, by the way. That's just my default. I know that's wrong. I know it's supposed to be, like, blue in official art. Should pull out more in this metal. I'm gonna clean the brush. I got some metal close to the base of it, and it's bad for brush health, so I'm gonna clean that immediately, because I like this brush. I care about this brush. And continuing on getting these exhausts. Okay, there are the exhausts. I'm going to get the underside of the bolt gun. Looks like it could use a little bit more, especially around the magazine. And that's, that's fine, Sanguineans. I don't need you to show up to every episode, but I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed playing against the Dark Reaper spam list. I have 15 Dark Reapers with my Eldar army, and I've actually never played a game where I took more than one squad of them. I've always been much more into Howling Banshees and Striking Scorpions. And Eldar has never been an army I tried to break. And I'm just double checking if there, yeah, there's some soft armor right here I have to get. I have to get the underside of the exhausts here. It's funny, it's weird to note, but, like, the exhaust slants go this way for this top one, and then they go horizontal-like for this one. Really weird. I just, for some reason, I'd think they'd go the same way. There's that one. I gotta get inside the gun barrel, too.
Let's see, is there anything else left to do metal work on? I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to switch over and start doing the black now. Hello, John. Also, I'd love to hear how you played that game losing only one model, because I'm going to get, because, like, if you say that to me, I'm like, oh, okay, you played, like, Imperial Knights. <laughs> and, yeah, don't do that. You'll poison yourself. Sorry for, sorry for that. I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep apologizing, and you still shouldn't do it. So, going on to the black, I'm going to have to pull out that mixing brush again that I like to use. Pull out some black paint. Pouring out this black. I'm going to water it down. Okay, that's what I figured. I wasn't far off. Two Imperial Knights and a Gilliman. Was it a sunny day in paradise? Yeah, it was actually. It was pretty sunny out today. There were a few clouds, but just enough to make it nice. And to anyone who hasn't seen, I live on a mountain paradise. The price of living on a mountain paradise is I don't have a game store. I have to drive down to the hive to get games in. And it's tedious. Also, that sucks. It's pissing down there. I'm assuming that means it's raining a lot. But honestly, like, I grew up in a desert city. So there's just some part of me that when I see the rain... I have to run out and play in it, because when I was a kid, you only saw rain, like, once every other year. You do go through a lot of moisturizer in Arizona. But, you don't have to deal with humidity, and it's freaking amazing. Not having to deal with humidity is basically the greatest thing ever. I go to places where it is humid and my hair can't take it. I can't exist there. My hair starts frizz frizzing up. I get, like, an afro. It's horrible. It looks awful. It, like, gets all, like, droopy and moist and starts, like, just dribbling onto my face and stuff. It looks terrible. Like, when I went to for my brother's graduation from the Marines, that was in San Diego, and it was just absolutely awful. Absolutely terrible. Like, the absolute worst. <laughs> It was so humid, and I hated it. It was just awful. My hair looked terrible. I looked terrible. I felt terrible. The heat was, like, worse because I felt like I was swimming through it. It was just, oh, my God, I hated it. I just absolutely can't stand the humidity. I have a feeling the human cold is just terrible, too. Okay, Sanguinius, this has been, like, multiple days now with you and the 1998 stuff. I think you have a problem. I think every time that you pull up some 90, 19, or 1998 trivia, I'm just going to spout off botany trivia. The difference is what I say might actually help you one day. Maybe. Mm -hmm. 
So I guess I should actually start popping off Evangelion trivia. That would be much less useful to you. Just trivial things about Hideki Anno and Satomoto. I'll have to get a list prepared for you of just meaningless stuff about that guy's life. Wait, where's 48 Volcanoes even? I want to say Hawaii, but I think that's more than Hawaii. Where are you from? And on that note, I hope you're talking about the botany trivia. If you're talking about the Hidekiano trivia, I'm actually not. There are Evangelion nerds out there who are far more well-studied on his life than I. <laughs> when trapped in a maze of scenes, the final round is 1998 trivia. Well, then you better keep feeding me more because I'm going to need it. Hmm, Ghost, that actually sounds like a fantastic idea. I could start doing Evangelion trivia in my videos and stuff. That would be so crazy, because I could do crazy, crazy ones, like... Oh, gosh. I just, you got to be really hard with Evangelion ones, because, like... Evan nerds know a lot of stuff. I'm trying to think of some good ones right now, and I'm just like, no, everyone who knows Eva would already know that. But then the other stuff I can't talk about. Let's see. I'll just have to get some ones prepared specifically. Okay, what is the number of the episode? Shoot, I'm trying to even think because every Evangelion episode has two names. Gosh, I'm really on the spot here coming up with Eva trivia. I'll have to come up with a list of it. All right, what episode number is A Man's Battle? Let's see if anyone can answer that one. That's pretty easy. You can figure that one out. I'll get them harder as they go. <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to have to trade Eva trivia for 1998 trivia. And if, if it's true, though, if that really is how I get out of the final level of Zinch's Maze, then you must continue. I actually thought the word derp was coined in later by the same people. I thought it was... I knew it was coined by Matt Stone and Trey Parker, but I thought it was coined in one of their, like, season five episodes where they were making fun of Rob Schneider movies.
Eva trivia. John cried when Reed's co died. Yeah, okay. But that's not quite trivia. Like, a trivia question would be, what episode do you first hear Kaji? Like, what episode do you first hear, like, because he shows up. I've already said too much. I, I just, what episode do you first hear from Kaji? That'd be a trivia question. Another good trivia question would be how many angels did Ray Ayanami personally kill? With the assistance of her Evangelion, of course. I'm just getting the black part of the sword on here because that's the base of the gold. Nope, it's not episode six. So when Ray falls down after getting out of the shower and Shinji feels her up, was he feeling up his mom? Well, spoilers, since Ray is a clone of, or because Ray is a, uh, Ray's body is a clone of Yui. So the argument here is that... If you were correct, that would mean that a clone of you is the same as you. A.E., if you made a clone of me and you felt me up, that would mean you were feeling me up. But that's not quite true because that's not how um, things work. And we can even see that because there actually are perfect genetic clones in nature. Like, before sexual reproduction, we only had asexual reproduction, which was just splitting, which was essentially cloning. So the answer is no. A clone of you is an extremely distinct, different being. So when Ray feel or when Shinji feels up Ray, he's not feeling up his mom. However, the fact that he wants to feel up his girl, or or that he tries to feel up a girl, or he does feel up a girl that is a clone of his mom. Well, take from that what you will. It's definitely Freudian. Speaking of Freudian, what is the Japanese name for the episode, Hedgehog's Dilemma? Science class with Mope Chan, or is this biology class? It's biology. I can't teach you all science. I can only teach you a little bit of biology. But on to Evangelion trivia. What is the name of the, or of the angel that appears in episode 12? By the way, no one's gotten a single question right yet. Not surprised, I just thought I'd say.
All right, Sanguinius, I'll give you a super, super easy one since you want to keep barraging with 1998 trivia. In episode 20, when Commander Fiyutsuki is kidnapped, who saves him? So easy. I'm afraid that's not the right answer. I'm afraid you're doomed to Zincha's palette or Zincha's maze. Also, no, it was not Ramiel. Ramiel was episodes uh, five and six. Yes, five and six. Or is it six and seven? No, it's five and six. Oh my gosh, you were right, Ghost. You got the first trivia question right. I'll switch over to Botany. You don't seem to be doing well with the Evangelion ones. What are the name of water conducting cells in gymnosperms? If you know the answer, just shout it out. The name of water conducting cells in gymnosperms. I think I'm going to have to switch to 40k trivia. I'm not as good at 40k trivia. My 40k trivia questions might be super easy. I'm also not a lore expert, so... The first model I ever painted was the Tactical Space Marine. Heartbreaking, I know. I wish it was something else, but it was the most generic, generic thing it could have ever been. It was a loyalist space marine. It was a loyalist tactical space marine. I even painted him blue. You need to buy a botany book if we go down this path. Stick to NGE and 40k. Okay. I got a 40k trivia question that everyone should be able to answer super easy. Does the Emperor love you? The answer is no. Actually, it's only tracheids. Vessels are exclusive to angiosperms. But I will give it to you since you said tracheids. I didn't actually expect anyone to get that. It is tracheids.
Alright, John, since you seem to know botany, let me think of a more complex one. What is the name of the family of plant hormones discovered by the Japanese in the 1930s that cause extended hypergrowth? That caused the plant to grow really tall and really skinny. The star is giving me trouble. This, I'm just trying to get these lines in around the edges of these things so they get really precise and nice looking. No, it's not HCM, it's Gibberellens. I'll ask an easier one. Palms are the result of an inferior or a superior ovary. That's an if or. There's only two options inferior, superior ovary of a 50 50. Also, no one answered my question if the Emperor loves you or not. He doesn't. The answer is no. The Emperor doesn't love you. Only Slanesh does. I don't remember which I listed first, but it's inferior ovary. I lie, heretic. No, the Emperor doesn't love you. You're wrong. You got that trivia question wrong. The Emperor doesn't love you. Let me let me give you a true or false one. The Imperium needs to burn. True or false? I'm gonna get the rim of his cloak to be black too, because I intend to paint that gold later. I think you have a, quite a few logical jumps there in your reasoning, Sanguinius. I don't think, I don't think Emperor Sister of Battle Smut proves the Emperor loves you. I think it proves that there are people who are perverts and want to do weird stuff with space nuns. Except they won't. As amazing and fantastic as the Blood Angels are, they can't save the Imperium. The Imperium has to burn. I revel in mankind's destiny. We were meant to be gods. It's just like the Road to El Dorado song. Are you going to disagree with Elton John?
Also, the greatest thing that humanity has ever created was Fulgrim. And Fulgrim will live eternally in the warp as testament that mankind ever existed. So, I love botany, and I always name my characters. I'll always give my characters the last name Linnaeus. It's a very common last name for me. Uh, because that was the last name of a very famous botanist. His actual name was Von Linn, but when he went to do a bunch of cataloging, and I think it was the 16th century, he renamed himself Linnaeus. So I always name a lot of my characters Linnaeus. The story has a point. So, I'm playing Stellaris, if any of you have ever played that before. It's my Paradox. It's a space grand strategy game. And I de decide to play as uh, mushroom people, because I like mushrooms, because I like, I like plants. And I go to select generic names, because when you create your race, you have to select a list of generic names or create your own, and you don't want to create your own because you don't have the time to create a name list. Um, so, one of the plant name lists lists like it has a bunch of names like that are like flowery and stuff and then like a bunch of their last names were Linnaeus and I was like oh I guess I'm not as original as they thought I guess every botany nerd likes Linnaeus <laughs> also which question were you looking up John because I'll give you the answer <laughs> Unless it was the one for if the Emperor loves you or not. That's a no. The Emperor doesn't love you. The Emperor will never love you. The Emperor will never care. Hurry up and turn over to Slanesh already. And don't call me crazy. The last girl who did that got stabbed. I'm kidding. About the stabbing. I'm sorry, John, I can't remember which one I asked you. What are you talking about that nothing you do is Slaneshi? For anyone who doesn't know, Shivond 1 sticks like these like printouts of anime girls onto his army. His army is covered in them and it's it makes me feel this mix of jealousy and revulsion because on one hand it's like that is the most adorable thing ever and then on the other hand it's like wow that is the most out of place horrific thing ever. I need a robot to slap my hand every time I lick the brush. No, because then I'd get sick of the robot and I'd have to get rid of the robot. And I'd probably end up spending a lot of money on it, so it'd be lame to have to get rid of it. Alright, Alexis, but after you table me, we have to play 40k. <laughs> really, I should do this gold part later, but whatever. I'm getting the rim of the cloak. I'm doing it. It's happening. He's going to accept it and like it.
trying to get the rims of these arrows. If I mix them, I'm gonna come in and do the pink around it anyway. Hmm. Gotta get under and around the signs here. Yeah, you should drop him in my Discord. Um, honestly, like, if your models, even if they're not safe for work, you can still drop them in my Discord. So long as you don't, like... No, honestly, even if your models were, like, blatantly pornographic with some, like, active sexual contact going on, I would actually be so impressed, and then I would ask you where you got the models. I'm getting this last arrow. I'm getting the inner rim of the cloak on the bottom there. The wash will seep in and darken that, but like it's white as is, so it's like... It's better to just go in and do the black here. Make sure. Nice and dark. Continuing on, getting more of this cloak rim. Looks like I'm almost done with this cloak boundary. I think that's the extent of the gold. Which is good because this took me a little while. Oh no, I have to get some on the bolt gun.
I need to get more water on the brush. Pick a horde race or class. Wait, are you talking horde as in like hordes of war machine or horde as in like as in like World of Warcraft? Because if it's World of Warcraft, then Blood Elf. Warlock. If it's Hordes of War Machine, then Anything except Everblight. And yeah, in World of Warcraft, female plate armor was skimpy to the point of being embarrassing. And there's no transmogs in vanilla, so it's embarrassing. Like, there's no other word to describe the female plate armor in World of Warcraft except very embarrassing. Not arousing, not enjoyable or good, just... Skimpy armor defeats the point of armor. That's my point. Okay, I think I'm almost done with these gold rims. You're a man slit? One of my best friends in high school was a man slut. He's pretty attractive, I can see why. I think most men would be sluts given the chance. I think it takes a lot of societal conditioning to keep women off from being slutty. Saying that made me wonder if I'm from the Middle East and if I follow the Quran, but I don't. I just think we're all very naturally sexual. Okay, so that's almost, or so that is done. I'm going to go ahead and pink. I'm going to pull the pink out. I'm going to do Emperor's Children pink for this. And I'm just going to get most of it. I'm going to get the armor and the cloaks and stuff. Pull out this mixing brush again. If I can find it. I need to put more water in this cup, too. I'll do that at some point in the future. So Emperor's Children Pink, what I'm switching over to.
I'm gonna water that down. As much as possible. Hence me needing more water. Okay, anyway, time to paint the pink on him. I actually, I could probably now use this brush. He's not a big model, this won't take forever. And I'm just starting to throw down Emperor's Children pink on him. Shoot, didn't mean to drop in there. Just gotta keep getting this pink down. Oh, there's a little soft armor in here I'm gonna have to get, but that's okay. There's gonna be some here too I have to grab. Alright, a lot of these areas that I meant to paint but didn't are gonna be revealed when I do the pink coat. Just continuing on with this pink. Let's get his feet too real quick, that should be easy enough. I've got a couple books here. I'm going to paint brown. Just brown. Getting the underside of his cloak. His skirt. Who wouldn't go into a battle or into battle with a skirt on, though? Oh, that's sweet. I really want a dog. I really want a Pomeranian, but they cost like a ton of money. Like not just the dog, like the dog breed I want costs a ton of money and then getting a purebred costs a ton of money and it's just a ton of money that I just don't have. I don't have a ton of money. If I had a ton of money, I'd probably go get plastic surgery. Continuing with his feet. 
She's getting these feetsies. These cute little Chaos Space Marine feetsies. Now I'm just continuing to get the pink on the skirt. He's just so pretty. He wears the pink skirt. There's the skirt. Let's get the rest of his armor. Now I'm getting these horns. Should get his helmet too. Since I'm here. Getting those horns. I'm going to get on the backpack now. There are a couple little claws I keep going over. Not a huge deal, I can get them later. I just gotta make sure this whole model is nice and pink. <sighs> Ooh. Excuse me there, I'm dropping this guy all over the place. Just continuing on, getting the uh, pink on here, getting all this pink. Now I'm along the backpack here.
this arm plate. Uh. Hand. Mm. Up along my shoulder pad. This backpack area. <laughs> Flinish does compel you to make sex jokes. Do it. Do it. It'll be pleasing to the Dark Prince. You have to do it. <sighs> Continuing on. I'm gonna have to take a break soon. I might I might have to take a break soon and I might not honestly even I might not get this guy done. That might have been me being a bit ambitious. Because we're at almost two hours and I oh an hour and a half. And I Still in base coating. I'm just continuing to uh, paint this guy, get that pink down. Anywhere I see it needed. Just a lot of places right now. This guy still has to be very pink. He's not pink enough. I'm just so tired from today. I don't know. 
Had to wake up early. I didn't get as much sleep as I wanted. Had to deal with some freaking morons today, too. And I mean, you're more than free to make your sex jokes. That's fine. I don't mind. I can take it. I need to add more water to the pink. Oh, I need to add more pink to the water. Let's see, where did that Emperor's Children pink go? Making sure all this armor is pink. Gosh, he's got a lot of detail. It just makes it confusing. It breaks up his or my vision of him a lot when he's just so white still. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm going to get done with this pink coat and then call a break. Oh my god, a 15 minuter. It looks like this guy is going to have to be just a two-parter. It looks like this episode we're just going to have to conclude with me washing him. Which is fine, because the wash takes so long to set anyway. That way I can have just a short break and get back to it. This guy's starting to look pretty pink.
<sighs> so much to paint. Need some more pink. A little water. Oh my gosh, I think I'm, like, nearly done getting this pink down. Gotta get some in around his neck. So now he is pretty super pink. I'm going to give him a few more looks over. And anywhere that I see that looks like it's not totally pink. We're going to get along the top of his wrist right here. Along the inside of the shoulder pad. I'll take your secret chariot if you want. I'm happy to have another one. Please send it to me. That'd be great. I mean, it's no use to you. You don't even post, uh... Or you don't even play Slanesh. Okay, I think this is the pink of the armor. I'm gonna do one last bit right here.
Okay, I am going to go take a break. I need to get some more water. I need to get a drink. I need to just... I just need a couple minutes to collect myself, and then we can return, and I shall finish the rest of the base coating. So, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I will be right back. In like 15 minutes. So, thank you all again so much for watching. When I get back, I'll finish base coating this guy. Actually, you know what? There's one thing I saw that bothered me, and I had to get it. Okay, now I'm gonna head off. And I will come back in 15 minutes.
we can talk about that. Anyway. Back to Six Soul Challengery. I think the first thing I'm going to do with this, guys, I'm going to start painting all the books. And the, and the brown leather. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out some brown. That'll be the next thing I do. If I can find the right brush. Okay, so I'm going to pull out the brown. And I'm going to use a darker brown for this one since it's the base coat. So I'm going to go ahead and just go with Gorthor Brown. I'm going to water it down. There's a book I read as a kid called Shades of Grey. It was about this kid growing up in the post-Civil War era. It was actually pretty good for a children's novel. I remember liking the book. Probably a lot better than the Shades of Grey book you're talking about. But I'm not sure because I haven't read the new one. This book leather. And he's got a little pouch over here. Pouch would probably be brown too. the brown of the pistol. I swear he has other brown on him. He has to. Does he really not? <laughs> Vanicula is a crazy book. Are we going to actually talk about that one again? There's some more 1998 trivia. When was Vanicula written? Okay, this brush. Does not understand that I need a point out of it. Am 
Like, stop fighting me, brush. Is that really all the brown in the sky? It's just this pouch and... Hmm. I guess so. It's the handle, that pouch, and this book. Should I call it a lexicon instead of a book? Maybe. Okay, there are a couple metal areas I'm going to re go over. And I actually didn't know they made a Beniculum movie. I guess that's why people know about it. Here I thought you actually read the book when you were a kid. <laughs> Pulling out silver. Oh, metal. I just drenched my hand because I wasn't used to the water being higher because I actually put water in there. Anyway, let's get these hand details where I need to. Where he has areas that need to be Metalled. What else needs to be made metal? I'm going to give another coat to the chains. Oh, the edges of the book, probably. Mm. Can't see any other areas that demand more metal. I thought there were a few more, but I guess it was just those two spots. I'm going to go ahead and do the blue. For his wires and stuff, I'm going to make his wires blue. Blue is a good color to go over pink. That's why. That's the real only reason why. Pull out just a little tiniest bit of blue. I'll add some water. And I will start adding the blue to these wires.
I think that's the blue of the wires. I don't think, oh, I should get the pupil eye, or the eye pupils with it, too. Just so they have some tint. In his little eye lenses. And on the sword. I don't think there's anything else that needs blue. So I'll go ahead and switch over to a bone color. I'm going to do a bone color for a lot of the horns. Like, and these little talons up on his exhaust. The other thing I'm going to use it for is I'm going to use it for the pages of the book. See, I actually prefer silver power swords. I think blue power swords look dumb. I'm going to do blue power swords for my blood angels because, like... That's what power swords are supposed to be, and I'm trying to do that army to the books. But, like, when I paint my own models, it's like, do you want to paint a blue sword? Is it a toy? Like, does it work? Like, a blue sword generally to me is like, uh, just not a real sword. So, anyway, pulling out the flesh color here that I'm going to use, Flayed One's Flesh. That's going to be my page color, my bone color. Getting the bones back here. Specifically, I'm going to get the teeth of the skull. But really, I want to get the pages of the book. Hmm. Oh, there is another silver part I missed the back of his hand. I'll have to get that in a second after I get the book pages. I think, oh yeah, I gotta get the other bones, like these two, like these claws jutting out of his gun. Is object source lighting, are you referring to where you start adding the glow effect onto the objects around it? Because I've found that that technique, honestly, like, outside of photo shoots, I don't like that te or technique very much. I think it looks really weird on tabletop minis. It obviously looks good for the shoot, though. Like, when you take that picture of it. But otherwise, eh, I'm not a big fan of it. It's kind of like non-metallic metals, like, I'd like to do that for large metallic surfaces, I'll probably do it for the gold helmets of the Blood Angels, but when it comes to little stuff, especially stuff like soft armor, like, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't. I'd rather use, like, the right paint.
Let's see. I'm thinking I'm gonna, I've got most of the horns here. I'm going to leave the skulls mostly white. So I think the last thing I really have to do is, one, I'm going to correct this silver spot. And then I'm going to have, you know, honestly, like, if you tell me how to do that thing, like, if you explain to me in detail how you get those anime girls on, and, like, you, because that's a technique I don't know how to do. Explain that one to me, and, like, because what I really want to do is I really want to do that. I really want to put pinup girls on my shadow sword. I think that would be freaking fantastic. But anyway, I think that's it for this paint. So I'm going to switch. Oh, no, no. I have to get the little talons on the exhausts. Let's do that. Get those real quick. I would really love to know your lore-friendly reasons for why your blood angels charge into battle with anime girls on their banners. I would love to know that one. Okay, there's that. I think all I have left to do for the base coat of this guy is I just gotta get that last bit of silver, and then I'm gonna do some more paint plush around the eyes. Oh, and there's also a couple pink spots I need to get. But before I do that, before I get those last couple pink spots, I'm going to get the Warp Fiend Gray on the spots it needs to go. Or, yeah. Where's my Warp Fiend? I thought it was up here. It is. It's right here. Okay, I'm, I'm curious to see this story about why your blood angels run around with anime girls on their stuff, because, like, that was one thing I thought, I was like, wow, that is so awesome, and then I was like, oh, I don't know if I'd do that, it's kind of silly. Now I'm just adding this bit of warp fiend gray to all these little fleshy eye bits. Oh, I have to correct the gun too. Let's see, is there anything else? Yes, the side of this gun has like this weird demon face that needs to get warp pink gray on it. And then I have a couple areas that need to have black added to them. Oh, I gotta get the eye right up front here. Oh, 
Okay. All that done? Hey, Kingpin. But with all that done, I'm going to go ahead and switch over. Oh, no, I have the eye up here. Switching over to the other side to get the eye on that side. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the couple black details I need to get. Specifically on the book, I need to get that black detail. And I need to pull out more black for it. And there's this chaos star thing that I'm doing right here. Just getting that detailed in. Okay, there's the black on that. I'm going to go ahead and get the gun. Let's get this top part of the casing, since I'm going to have to do that for the Blood Angels anyway. I might as well get used to it. Besides, it'll look more right according to 40k nerds like me. And I goofed already, but whatever. It happens. It'll be okay. So there are those two black highlights, and there are a couple more little sp Oh, I gotta get up here, too. On the top of the gun. So, I'm going to get those last couple pink spots. I'm going to double check the model just to make sure that there's nothing else. And then, once that's done, I'm going to go ahead and. Oh, I got to get the back of his hand. I forgot that. That's important.
So there's that. I'm going to go ahead and get those couple last little pink spots I missed. Get some water out, mix this up a bit. All right, let's get this on the side of this spot. I needed to get that. I need to get a little bit on the top of the shoulder. Okay, I don't think there's anything else. I think I'm just going to wash the model. Yep, I'm going to wash the model. I'm going to pour out some black wash, doing it my pro. Pro, just dripping it onto the palette way. Check this out. Look how pro got it. Watch me spill my wash all over myself. Super pro, totally just got enough. I'm not going to use this brush, actually. I'm going to just put this one away. I'm going to switch over to a bigger brush. Less distinct, less caring brush. If I could find that brush. Here's that brush. So I'm just going to wash the model now. And then if I still want to add on a little time, I'm just going to throw on some, like, black onto the base there. I would love to go longer, honestly. I plan to go for about another hour, but I'm just so exhausted. I really just want to go to sleep. I've had a really long day. I had to wake up at, like, 7 a.m. this morning. It's almost 10 my time. So let's go ahead and start black washing. I'm just going to get the whole model. Once I get the whole model, I'll switch to the base. Once I get done with the base, I'm going to check the model for pooling. And I'm going to take a break and talk a little bit about the next thing I want to do. And then I'm going to check for pooling again. And then it'll be done.
Stunningly, it looks like even for this single model, I will have to pour out more black wash. But we'll find out. Yeah, I am. I'm going to pour out some more. I'm just going over the model. You know, I'm not stupid, so I'm gonna go ahead and call shenanigans on that rock star she band. I'm gonna call shenanigans, and we'll call bullcrap. <laughs> but I am millennial scum. So what do I really know? I want to eat some Tide Pods and Band Guns. Hmm. Oh, there's that snorting condom thing, too. Okay, looks like I got him pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on getting wash around the base. And wow, I'm gonna have to pour out more. I am a slut for black wash. And so should you, because all it does is make your painting look good. People sometimes get mad about that because they'll say stuff like, you don't need to paint, know how to paint. You can just put black wash over your model until it looks good. Like, genuinely, I'm honestly a proponent of you can take You can take a white model, a primed gray model, and you can just put black wash on it. And if you put enough coats of black wash on it, eventually it'll look tabletop acceptable. And it looks like that's the base washed, so that means he's washed. Which means I just have to check for pooling now, which there's a lot of it, because I put on a lot of wash. I have to redistribute the wash back to where it should go. And guide it. Show it the way. Wherever I see it pooling, which it, it isn't pooling in a lot of areas. Mostly along the bottom of the cloak here, it looks like. Yeah, big time on the back.
I don't know why I just grabbed more black wash from my wet palette. So my goal right now is to keep the or the black wash from pooling. Oh, that's a pool too. And again, the reason pooling is so bad is because you would think more wash going to a recess is good. Um, I'm glad you, I'm glad someone picked up on that. I am a black wash socialist. I think this wash should be equal or evenly distributed throughout the model. I think it's disgusting how the crevices of the model get to sit and hide and just wait for all the black wash to come to them. It's sick. We need to do something about it. Okay, so I'm going to let him dry for a bit, and you can kind of see how that's turning out. But anyway, so next week. So we got a new episode on Friday, um, and there's going to be... On Monday, I'll continue and I'll finish him. I'll re-highlight him, and I'll probably give you also another long episode uh, next Monday... Actually, no, I won't be giving you another long episode because next Monday I'm going to be even more exhausted than I was today, I think. Um, so next Monday will probably actually be a short episode, but I don't think it'll take me three episodes to get this guy done because I'm going to get, I'm going to be able to get most of him done because once I get him washed, most of this is going to pop out when I do a couple of dry brushes because I'm going to dry brush him, I do a really heavy dry brush of Emperor's Children Pink next. After this wash gets done, after the Emperor's Children pink wash gets done, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, do a fulgrim pink wash. And then I'm going to go in manually with my brush, and I'm going to get the rest of the details. Actually, after I do the pink dry brushes, I'm going to go in and do the basing. Anyway, after I get the dry brushing done, I should say, I'm going to get the, all that done. So, I already can see I'm starting to pool again, so I'm going to get working on that. But, I do have the pieces now to make my demon. That's happening. That's slated for the future. After this guy, you're going to get to see me make my own demon. And it's going to be freaking fantastic. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. And it should break up the painting to do, like, a modeling one. Um... Because I haven't gotten to do a modeling stream yet, because I haven't had any fun modeling projects to show you all until now. Now I have a fantastically fun modeling project, and I can't wait to put it on. And let's get rid of all this pooling that's happening. It's mostly, again, in these same areas of the cloak. His eyes a little bit there. But anyway, I'm super excited for that. I'm making her out of a bunch of different parts. I'm making her out of two creature caster models, along with a trigon and a carnifex. And I'm going to green stuff her hair. I'm going to add all sorts of other little plastic bits as details. Um, and if you really like my demon in the, like, the artwork and stuff that you've seen, like, she's going to look just like that. I'm not kidding. She's going to be on an exalted... I have her base right here, too, if you want to check it out. I got it from, I can't remember the website, I'm sure someone knows that they do all the nice custom bases, but I like it because it's got the tile pattern, it's going to be fantastic, she's going to be on top of a Trigon base, it's going to be freaking amazing. The only thing I have left to get to her for her is a mermaid tail, or not a mermaid tail, I'm sorry, I have the tail, I need to get the fin. And it'll be fantastic, because if you know my do not, and no step on snack banner, in case you need a reminder, hold on. Remember this guy? Yeah, you remember that guy. Um, I can't wait, because this model is going to go so perfectly when I have another giant snake demon. And she is going to be a giant snake. Well, she's going to be a giant fish-tailed snake. She's going to be a mermaid angel, but that's close enough. And anyway, let me go 
check this one more time because I still have a bit of pooling in this cloak. Oh, and I gotta get this book in here too, it looks like. But anyway, she's gonna look super fantastic. And then... I want to get work on, but before I do that, I also want to work on finally getting music up on here, because once I get music up on here, I feel like I can just sit here and actually paint and not have to worry about keeping you all entertained by talking. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but that should increase the quality of the videos a little bit, make them a little less enjoyable so you don't have to listen to my voice the whole time. And with that, I think that's going to be it for today. This guy seems like he's pretty good. And then, yeah, I'm going to call it here because this is just after three hours. So it was great to see you all. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Stratus. Thank you, John. Thank you, John again. John M. And then John Knight. Thank you, Sanguinius. Thank you, Ghost. Thank you, Alexis. Thank you, anyone who I didn't mention. Um, I love you all so Thank you, Kingpin. Thank I could go on. I'm going to stop. But thank you all so much. I will talk to you all later. I'll talk to you again. Because I'm so busy, I have all this stuff I need to do uh, with the other aspects of my life that I'm not going to be able to do a Friday episode. So next episode will be next one Monday. That'll be again a week from now. And I'm so sorry that I keep having to do that. I'm just so busy right now. Once I get to that girl, though, I'll try to switch it up. I'll try to treat you all and have a week where I do, like, three episodes. Like, I can do a Monday, Wednesday, and stuff. And then when it's summer and I don't have, like, the school aspect of my life, assuming I don't get a job, um, I'll be able to do episodes, like, all the time. I could do an episode every day at that point. But I'm babbling on. I'm going to end the episode here. No, I'm not, because this guy is still pooling. Gosh. I gotta get rid of this pool. This pool on his cloak right here just keeps forming. But I think that's about all I can do because I can see it starting to solidify and harden. So, that's it. That's it. We're done. Okay, I'll talk to you all in a week. Thank you all so much for watching my stream. Be sure to tell your friends all about it. I love coming on here and painting, even though I'm really tired today, and I'm sorry about that, but sometimes you just you just wake up real early and you keep doing stuff all day. Um, this is no exception. So, I will talk to you all later. Thank you all so much. I will talk to you later. Have a nice night.